guys welcome back and if you're new here welcome today I'm going to be making a mulled apple, apple cider so uh, first off I'm going to put the apple cider I'm going to be doing it in a crock pot so you need um, two quarts of bottled apple cider or juice and not the unfiltered kind, just regular apple juice or apple cider. So, and that would be two quarts or 64 ounces. And so I'm gonna put that, dump this in my crock pot. So I've got that all dumped in there and then um, we're going to add brown sugar and you'll need a quarter cup of packed brown sugar which I already have here. I'm going to go ahead and dump that in there. Push my brown sugar aside here. Okay, and then um, you're gonna need a cheesecloth. And I didn't have a cheesecloth, so I had to go, my husband um, had to go to the store and grab me this. Okay, so I had to cut a little piece off of my cheesecloth because I'm gonna make a little like sachet out of it to put uh, this mulling spice in it. And um, cut a little piece of twine. So I'm, I'm taking the recipe out of this book. It's Slow Cooker Recipes. And we found this book at Goodwill um, a while back. And so I'm just taking the recipe out of this and it's called Mulled Apple Cider. And so um, that's where I'm getting it from. This is my first time making this with you guys. And you know, this is great for cold weather, winter time. Um, so I went ahead and put the two quarts of apple cider and a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. I went ahead and stirred it. So now I'm going to go ahead and put what I need in the cheesecloth. I, we found this. It's a Moline Spice um, Organic at Natural Grocers. But if you don't have a Natural Grocers in your area, all you need is um, eight allspice berries, four cinnamon sticks broken into halves, and 12 whole cloves, and a large orange, and additional cinnamon sticks if you like. This already has organic orange peel, organic cinnamon, organic allspice, and organic cloves. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put probably about like a tablespoon of this in here. And so what you do is you just get all these spices and um, put it in your cheesecloth, make like a little sachet. And that looks like that would be what I need. Um, yeah, because it says eight allspice berries, which I'm sure I have more than that in here. Uh, four cinnamon sticks broken into pieces, 12 whole cloves, which I'm sure I've got here. I might even have a little extra. Maybe I'll take a little bit out of this. And then it says a large orange. Okay, so it says stick cloves randomly, um, randomly into orange. Cut orange into quarters, which I'm not going to do. Place spice bag and orange quarters in cider mixture. Okay. So I'm just going to make a little sachet out of this. Okay, and then I'm just going to tie it up. You can also make like a twine with your cheesecloth 
but I already have this twine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just use this. All right, so I made my little sachet. I'm gonna throw it in here with the cider mixture and I'm gonna cover it and uh, let's see. Cover and cook on high for two and a half to three hours. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on high and set my timer for three hours. So we'll see you in about three hours. Okay, so it's been three hours and we can turn it down to low and let it sit for another three hours. Keep it warm. And I think I need a new crock pot. It's not getting very hot, but anyways, it smells really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the sachet. Just kind of squeeze it all in there. Smells really good. It's just kind of warm actually. So I think my crock pot's about to, to die. We tried to cook some uh, beans in it here recently and it didn't cook it really well. So I think this one has seen better days. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it for you guys. And excuse my ladle. This is falling apart as well. <laughs> put a little cinnamon stick in it. I've got two left. <clears throat> so go ahead and stick that in there and I'm gonna try it out. All right. Mmm, it's really good. You can taste all the spices and stuff. It's really good. Really good. Just need to wish it was a little warmer, so it might just heat it up a little bit in the microwave. But other than that, yeah, it's very good. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and get to enjoy this on a cold night or cold day and warm up. And give me a like if you enjoyed this video and share and subscribe if you could if you haven't already. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.